These are our um, African blue basils, and we've got um, monarch butterflies and bees on them. Well, we, we always have bees on them, but today, well, of course they're going to go away now, but today there is a whole bunch of monarch butterflies. Look. <laughs> I, I can hear the bees, but okay, look. I can hear the bees, but I don't know if the video can. So pretty. And there's some other different kinds of butterflies too. Oh my gosh, they're beautiful. So nice. And that's, I don't know what that is. That's like a big, a bumblebee maybe or I'm not sure I never I'm not sure about that one but lots of bees and then one are butterflies so awesome oh If you want to attract these type of things, grow African blue basil. It's, it's just awesome. It blooms all summer, even in Texas. It's a perennial in, I guess, like in Florida, but uh, it, it roots easily. So you can take, oh, look at all the ones over here. Back over here. <laughs> so cool. It, uh, it takes the cuttings easier. I just made a whole bunch of cuttings. Um, that black that black bug again I just made a whole bunch of cuttings to keep in the greenhouse and to plant again in spring to start all over and I'm gonna grow a lot more I did about eight this year but this is how I'm gonna back up so you can see how big they get and I started these from little babies yeah no, I don't want to make this this too um I don't want to make this too too long so I'll stop <laughs>